fun to just experience that community to uh, believers. Uh, even the way we ate, we would eat around a uh, a um, pot of food. It would be it's for Americans kind of freaks you out uh, if you're if you're germ uh, freak. Uh, you would be out of your mind insane because you're all, it's one big bowl and you're eating from But you know what it creates is an incredible community of, of, of relationships, of, of conversation. And so that's why, again, we saw just it's perfect for the gospel story, God's word, and, uh, and really for what God's doing there. It's such fertile ground. Uh, Paul, pick up with this brother here. Okay, this is uh, uh, one of the brothers that attended the training session there, and he's blind. And during the time we were there, somebody shared his story. They said, have you heard his story? So they began to tell us uh, the story behind this brother. Every morning at 5 a.m., the Muslim call to prayer goes out. So he would get up and go to the church and pray at 5 a.m. Well, the Muslims noticed he's, he was doing this, and they're like, wait a minute, this is our call to prayer. How dare you go and pray? So they knew he was alone, so a couple of young men went in, took his cane from him, and just severely beat him with the, his own cane. Well, the man that was swinging the cane, the hand that held the arm that held the cane, uh, the, their description was it became cement. I suppose that means it became paralyzed, stiff, and heavy. And when he found out, this blind brother found out about it, he said, well, ask him if he wants prayer. Mm -hmm. I'll forgive him and pray for him. So he asked for prayer, and God healed his arm. Mm -hmm. We were able to interview him three years ago when we first went there, and now to see him continue to trust the Lord. And uh, with this training, it was the first training that he really saw that he could start using too. So he's excited to be getting to met, maybe travel around a little bit more and share stories. He did a great job. The, uh, it was amazing yeah, how each person, when as they took it, applied it to their own life, and ministry, how they were able to find ways that they're going to use it. Mm -hmm. um, this is the five-minute model. Again, one of the things that we teach is how to share a story in five minutes, and they, it's really fun. They get knee to knee, and they get five minutes to tell a story, and then they move down to the next chair, so it's kind of like musical chairs. And it was just great to see those Africans chatting or chattering away and so excited to be able to uh, take this. they're all doing this at the same time. Yeah, yeah. and so, yeah, yeah. it's uh, African loud style. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you 